Your real challenge when you start working with master models will be how do you change the names of these files? If you thought assemblies and in-context references were difficult, you may find that master models are equally difficult to deal with when file names change. For this example, we will be working with the bodies created by the save bodies feature. So these are all of the body names with the one after them. And we can see those if we edit the feature. We take a look at the list. Mouse main body one, mouse bottom one, mouse wheel shroud one, mouse buttons one. Let's save this model as input device. Go to File, Save As, make sure I'm in the correct folder. Let's save this model as input device. Now, if I edit the Save Bodies feature, it still lists these file names. But if I double click on one, SolidWorks gives me a message. It says that that particular document, the child document, the SolidWorks part file where the body has been saved, is not related to the feature being edited. So SolidWorks knows that the file name has changed and that this name is associated with the old file name for the Mouse Master model. Then it suggests, please attach the selected body to another document or alternatively, edit the stock feature in the derived part and reassociate the body with this feature. Okay, so it gives us two options of things that we can do. The first thing we can do is assign a new name for the mouse main body. And I could just click on the browse button and say, mouse main body two. And then you'd have to go through this exercise for the rest of the files in this feature. The other option that SolidWorks suggested was to open up one of the individual part files and come at it from the opposite direction. So let's open up for chapter six, say the mouse buttons part. And if we look at the feature here, it has a little question mark, which means it's out of context, which would seem strange if we had the master model or rather the input device open. But remember that it was renamed and this relationship did not get reassigned. If I right click, edit in context, it will pull up the mouse master model. This is the old file. Notice in my window list, I have the input device and the mouse master model both open. So I'm going to close out of this. You can right click and use the edit feature. Here it's listing where it gets its definition from, but we can browse for a new file and I can go to input device and say open. And before I click on OK, I have to select which body it used, and I remember that this particular body came from the split four feature, and then it had a particular name, which I can select here. So you have to first define the split feature that it came from, and then define if there were multiple bodies that came from that split feature, tell it which body you want to keep. So while that interface is not exactly simple, it is very powerful and it does allow you to reconnect a child document to its parent document through all of the changes that may happen in typical file management. So you can change the relationship from the child document or from the parent document. If you change it in the parent document, you are going to have to rename the child. If you do it from the child document, you will have to deal with the interface with selecting the split feature and the particular body.